Hi everyone, Reese and Cameron Hurwitz from Magnum Bowling Products. In the last video, we mentioned to you that there are big differences between a new and an old ball's susceptibility to cracking. And today we're gonna to tell you exactly why that happens and how you can go about protecting your bowling equipment, new or old, from cracking. When a ball comes fresh from the factory, it's full to the brim with softening plasticizers, which control the manufacturer's intended durometer or hardness. As the ball's plasticizers evaporate out, the cover stock hardens and shrinks, causing surface tension of the cover stock, making your ball brittle and susceptible to cracking. A hard and brittle ball cannot undergo rapid temperature changes called thermal shock or polar differential without cracking, because a brittle ball can't survive the expansion or contraction like a soft, supple, and flexible ball can. In order to protect your ball from going down the path of hardening and getting brittle, you must preserve the ball's factory plasticizers and keep the ball at its desired hardness through the use of an effective vapor barrier as seen in the immortalizer. While it's optimal to keep your ball soft and supple right from the start and eliminate the potential from cracking altogether, I'm sure many of you have that favorite go-to ball that's older and you still love using it, but worry that it might crack. Since older balls have already experienced evaporative drying, the cover stocks have hardened and shrunken down and are experiencing surface tension. This makes them much more susceptible to cracking when exposed to temperature changes. This is why it's critical to protect them from thermal shock and polar differential, which are the mysterious unseen causes for cracking. Older brittle balls cannot adapt and flex to rapid temperature changes called thermal shock without sparking cracking. The same goes for polar differential, which exists when the top of the ball is warmer than the bottom. An example for this is when you store your ball on a basement or garage floor. If you want to prevent these igniting factors of cracking from affecting your ball, you can highly benefit from the features of the immortalizer, which we'll show you in the next video.